I spent sort of seven years really traveling um, and obviously then moved to like moved to Sydney the last four years I've been in Sydney um, and yeah just like for me like I just wanted to get a job that I could enjoy and I didn't feel like getting up in the morning and going to work like I worked in breweries my whole life in London and I worked in events and that here in Sydney and then when I got my residency I was like like I want to do something outdoors take advantage of being in Australia like being in the ocean being in the sun and diving was like the perfect fit for that. You, know, just, you can do that all year round in Sydney. And then obviously skipping sort of came from that. I grew up in, in the water, like on holidays, like in the Southwest coast, like Cornwall and that, like we always went down there uh, when I was a kid. And then when I was sort of in my early teens, we went away on holiday to like, I don't think it was Spain, but it was somewhere like Tenerife or one of those islands. And I went scuba diving then. And that's when like my passion really like took off before that it was like catching crabs in jam jars like in like Cornwall and like looking at them and that and then yeah I wanted to be a marine biologist but obviously I didn't get the grades so uh, this was the next best the next best thing pretty much Yeah, that was uh, that was unexpected. Yeah, we were just down there with Dylan, and we bumped into Sam as well. And we'll see if he was keen for a dive. So he was uh, keen to come diving with us. We got his gear, and he joined us for our dive at Clifton. I'm not 100% sure. I think it's like a little bit of, A, I think like it's kind of exploring in a different way that we don't normally get to explore. Everywhere we go, even if you go to national parks and that, you're always on a, on, a, on a path, pretty much, unless you're like really into like bushwhacking or whatever. With scuba diving, like you can take your own route. Like you can do your own thing, you can explore, even though obviously the dive sets that we go to predominantly are heavily foot, foot trodden by other divers, you still get that feeling of like, kind of exploring and finding things that other people haven't found and pointing things out to people that you found and things like that. Uh, that's one thing and I think the other thing for me especially is like it's the only time where you kind of I feel like the word meditation is probably not really right but like it's kind of like a peaceful thing you know like you can all you can hear is your own breathing there's no other like distractions you don't have to talk to people people can't hear you so you can kind of like get in your own head and you, or out of your own head depending on what you want to do and you can like and just have that time, you know, like for me, it's like what keeps me sane, you know, like going to work, that, those like, you know, if you're on the boat, if I'm doing four dives a day, like those four hours underwater are like, like sanity being put back <laughs> into the void. I'm a mad animal lover, like I always have been. One of my big passions, and part of the reason I got into into scuba diving as well, is like like conservation. Quite a lot of other aspects of my life, whether it be motorbikes or uh, like rock climbing or whatever, like maybe adrenaline sports. And so to the out, to out people outside of scuba diving, I guess scuba diving looks like that as well, even though I don't think it is that. I'm not an academic person at all, you know, and I think like without finding scuba diving and finding this career path, I guess, and 
passion. My work life would definitely be different for sure. I'd probably still do it at the weekends for fun and stuff like that. But yeah, like I had a teacher tell me as a kid, you're the person who was made to, to lift things or something like that. Do you know what I mean? Like that kind of thing. I can't remember what, exactly what he said. He was Australian actually, but it was in, in the UK. I feel like that was probably quite true, you know. Worked in breweries, pubs, building sites, that kind of stuff. And this was like, this isn't work, you know. The worst day of work here is like the best day of work somewhere else. You know, it's like you've had, you obviously have hard days, but they're not the same. I love seeing transformations. I love seeing people who are like scared or are, who don't think they're gonna make it through, say the open water course and then they come out the other side of it absolutely frothing, like they're loving it. It can really change people, you know, and I've seen people that also were like keen fishermen and have gone on to like pretty much not really be fishermen anymore just because like they've seen that, they've interacted with marine life in a different way, which obviously you can't do on the surface, like you can only do that underwater. You know, you, you saying about the octopus, like interacting with those kind of animals and seals and things that are really heavily interacted, even blue, blue gropers, like stuff that will really come up to you and like, interact with you in that way like makes it different I think you know it changes people people's opinion of things for sure